hello, Joseph here. I'm doing a little follow-up tutorial on my 3 Super Max 2014 reference image setup tutorial. And now I'm using 3 Super Max 2015, and I'm also using the realistic viewport mode, which I found to be very good when working with uh, uh, reference images. Uh, and I will follow up where I left in the previous tutorial, and that was I'm using Solburn skip script for you uh, loading in reference images, and I'm using the image plane maker. So do I showed this in the last tutorial, so I won't explain it again. And I want the the reference image in this case to be loaded in the top, and it looks like this. It's like this, and uh, yeah. Just press 2 and it will be loaded. So as you can see, in realistic mode it looks like this. It's still a little, bit a little pixelated and that's because you have to do one last thing. And that is, in realistic here, you have to say to the material to be realistic material with maps. And now you see, it's as good as this picture. So it's, it's perfect. But it might not be this way for you, and that is because maybe in your uh, settings for uh, nitrous or, or for the realistic mode, you have the texture map here set to be at maximum 512, and then it will look like this for you, very blurry. And uh, I have this graphics card, I will show you. Customize preferences. ET 660. So if you have a lower graphic card than me, you might not want to pump this these settings up too large because it will take more memory. But if you have a better card than me, then it shouldn't be a problem. So 496 for the textures. And you will see perfect reference image quality here. And Solburn script has loaded this into the layer for us here, which is freeze and it's perfect to go. But there is this one last oh so last issue, and that is if you can see here in the top viewport, uh, I'm in wireframe and in I cannot see the shaded version. So in this mode I cannot you know model model after. I cannot model after my reference image. I cannot go into shaded mode, for example, if I want to see this detail beneath. I won't see my reference image. There is a way to fix this. It's quite tedious, but... Uh, yeah, reference images are important, and maybe you want this wireframe mode to work as expected. And I will show you how. Um, yes. So, what you want to do is you want to uh, unfreeze your image plane so you can uh, select your object and uh, then you want to right click your object and go into object properties and here you want to change these display properties to be by layer okay so what you want to do now is you want to say to the layer by right clicking the layer and properties and here you want to um, change the display mode of the layer to always be shaded. And here is a bug because when you change this to be always be shaded, it doesn't apply, nothing happens. But you can uh, change this by writing a code snippet and the code will work. I think it's some problem with this button here. So, anyhow, the code looks like uh, looks like this. Layer manager dot get layer four dot display equals shaded. So, as I said, I want this uh, layers display property to always be shaded. So this code will do that for you. But I will explain this bit of code. The first one is layer manager, which is this window, the layer manager. The second one here after the dot is get layer. 
and in this case it wants to get the layer with number four uh, I do not have four layers I only have two so I have to change this to be the right uh, position or right layer uh, and in order for 3D Studio Max to uh, it, it sorts its layer after name yeah I hope that made sense so this is the right order and all computers start counting from zero so this is actually zero and this is one you might think this is one and this is two but computers think differently so this is zero and this is one so after that explanation is done I want this one to be one because I want the, the reference image which Soulburn created the layer here I want that one to always be shaded so if I write this code snippet here and press enter oh sorry as you now can see I can be in uh, wireframe mode and it's always shaded so if I, if I draw this cylinder here or even better this teapot you can see I'm in wireframe mode so if I'm going to go into here I can now move my points to and see the reference image underneath there is one problem left and that is when I go into uh, wireframe mode the image doesn't use realistic shading and the realistic maps so it gets very pixelated but it's still better in my opinion uh, I use this now uh, I can see and model easier so I know quite a bit but I think uh, Autodesk will fix this bug in the future so we can work better with our our uh, reference image but this is what I have so far so I, I hope this helps some people as you can see I can now model perfectly here um, and when I want to see maybe where is the table I want to do I want to do a little table here uh, I can go into wireframe mode uh, here and here and I can draw this table so I, I can see I can see through thanks to this way yeah. so the last issue now then is when I'm in wireframe mode it's pixelated I would like it to be the same quality as in the realistic mode but yeah this was quite many steps I hope uh, I hope it helped you so yeah that's me signing off bye